Hi, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Because my internet is a bit unstable. Can you hear me? If you can, oh, great, great. Because I can't uh, really hear the video just now a bit of, uh, uh, you know, I was trying to get another speaker and here and there. Great can hear me. So good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to our morning session today. I know tomorrow is Hari Raya. Some of you are, are, you know, Muslim people here. Thank you so much, Muslim colleagues, friends, guests here. Welcome today. If you're here, I would like to wish you Salama Hari Raya, and uh, please, uh, please adhere to SOP, yeah? even though, yes, we are so, you know, happy celebrating, always take precaution and health and safety comes first. Okay. We are also in workplace life, correct? Yeah, we're also in workplace life and welcome those in uh, workplace. I uh, welcome you all. And today I'm going to touch on a topic called overcome limited beliefs and limiting beliefs that leads to a breakthrough mindset. I'll be sharing a video shortly. And uh, later, you have the privilege to hear from one of uh, our colleagues, Shannon, and uh, she, she will share her journey of her breakthroughs. So before I share the video, I want to ask all of you here, okay, what is limiting beliefs? Can you name one or can you name some of the limiting beliefs that you know or you know that your friends has it or you have it? So can you just name some of the limiting beliefs that you have? Maybe you can type in the chat box. Morning, must uh, a little bit of thinking. Oh, okay, I can't do it. MCO, Christopher. <laughs> okay, limiting beliefs. Uh? Okay, some more? Anybody? Just feel free to, not sure I can. I don't think I can sell million listing. Okay, great. Fear rejection, yeah, me too. So, some more? Any more? Keep flowing in. Let your mind, uh, I'm not good at IT. <laughs> okay, some more? I think we have got uh, around uh, 50 people here, basically. So, uh, some more? For me, for me, I'm actually, I'm Facebook marketing fear. I have got this belief that I can't do Facebook marketing. Yeah. So until KW comes in, <laughs> so don't know what to do. Okay. What is? Wow, Wendy. Okay. Great. So all these limiting beliefs, right? That is in your mind right now, right? So let me share this video with you. It's about eleven minutes, and uh, it's by Lauren Weinstein, and she said, "Don't believe everything you think." So I'm going to share our screen right now. Elephant has incredible strength. She can uproot a tree with her trunk alone. Yet she will remain in captivity held by only a light rope. Despite her ability to easily break away, she doesn't even try. Why? It starts when she's young. She's first tied down when she's small and not yet strong enough to break the rope. She will try at first, try as hard as she can to break free and try and try, but eventually realize she can't. Suddenly, something attaches itself to her that is stronger than any rope or chain or fence. It's the belief that she can't break free. It's this belief that holds her back, despite her ability. I've had these same beliefs. You may have too. Beliefs that held me back. Beliefs that led me to feel unfulfilled in my work, to struggle in my relationships, and to live a life that was far from the one I'm living now. It was only when I became aware of my ropes and actively pulled against them that I found myself 
in a different reality? How do you break the ropes that tie you down? Don't believe everything you think. When I was six years old, I had a favorite babysitter, Amber. One morning, my mother told me we couldn't have her babysit because she didn't have enough money to pay her. So that afternoon, I started my first company. I gathered rocks from around the neighborhood, painted them with my art set, and went door to door selling them to our neighbors. That night, it was Amber and I on the couch together. When I was young, I was bold, outgoing, and fearless. I wore what I wanted, <laughs> or didn't want to wear, <laughs> guided by my own voice that told me what would make me happy. I was also in love. His name was Fernando, and he was wonderful. As with everything else, I wasn't afraid to grab him with both hands. <laughs> As I grew older, this picture started to fade. My exuberance was replaced with timidness. My leadership with conformity. My boldness with fear. I don't think any of us leave childhood without some ropes despite our parents' best intentions. I grew up with a mother who was determined to give me the perfect life. Armed with love and good intentions, she did everything for me to help me be perfect. I'd pack a suitcase to go on a school trip, and she'd unpack it and repack it in a more perfect way. I'd be ready to turn in a school art project, and then she'd add her own brushstrokes to make it better. Later, she told me when my choice of boyfriend or apartment wasn't good enough. Although she just wanted what was best for me, I stopped knowing what was best for me. An unconscious rope was formed. I shouldn't trust my own voice and my own ability, and I feared not being perfect. Other ropes attach themselves too. I grew up in a family filled with yelling, loud voices and strong opinions. To keep the peace, I learned to stay quiet, to not rock the boat, to become invisible. In school, I came to believe it's more important to blend in than stand out. And the pain of an early heartbreak led me to hold back in my relationships so I could avoid getting hurt. I'm not good enough. Don't speak up. Don't stand out. Fear failure. These were my ropes. This isn't just my story. Like the elephant, we all come to believe certain things in childhood that weren't true, or at least are no longer true, but we still live with them as if they are. If you've ever felt not good enough, alone, unwanted, unloved, invisible, powerless, like you don't belong, these are your ropes. If you've ever felt you can't trust yourself, trust others, speak up, stand out, ask for help, let others in, be accepted as you are, these are your ropes. These ropes hold us back. I found myself defaulting to others' opinions when I should have been trusting my own, staying quiet when it would have benefited me to speak up, and blending in when I would have been happier if I had the courage to stand out. This led me into a series of jobs that ranged from tolerable to miserable. In one, I hoped I'd get sick so I could stay home from work. It led me into a series of relationships 
in which I lacked confidence in myself, the other person, and the relationship. These never worked out. My beliefs affected the way I perceived the world, which changed how I acted, which led to a self-fulfilling prophecy. I felt small, and my world became smaller. What we believe has powerful effects. Decades of social psychology research backs this up. In a study performed at Dartmouth College, an ugly scar was placed on participants' faces with makeup. They were then sent into a room for a conversation and asked to report how people responded to them with this ugly scar. But here's the twist. Right before they left, the experimenter said, hold on a minute, we just want to touch up your scar a bit. Rather than touch it up, they removed it entirely. So unbeknownst to them, the participants went into their conversations looking completely normal. Despite this, they came back and reported how awkward their conversations were, how people avoided looking at their scar, had trouble making eye contact, and were tense and uncomfortable in the conversation. Their beliefs about their scar led them to see things that weren't really there and to make meaning of innocent behavior. What could have been a perfectly normal conversation instead became an awkward one. Their beliefs created their reality. Give someone a white coat and tell them it's a doctor's lab coat, they'll perform better on an attention task than when told it's a painter's coat. In all of these cases, same people, same abilities, same tasks, different beliefs. And in each case, it was their belief that raised or lowered their performance. How you see yourself and your circumstances will affect what you see, how you act, and what occurs as a result. It's almost as if our beliefs place a virtual reality headset on us, a headset that allows us to see things that aren't really there and sends us into a false reality. We have these headsets even when they're miles from the truth. I remember hearing the top model, Cameron Russell, share how models despite having the shiniest hair and the longest legs, are some of the most physically insecure people on the planet. My headset led me to law school. There, my long-held false beliefs were reinforced. Aim for perfection, follow the crowd, fear failure. This was a familiar path. Then one day, without thinking much about it, I signed up for a class outside the law school called Design Thinking Bootcamp, a class that promised to unleash my creative potential. I had to design innovative products and experiences, or more accurately, pull on almost every single one of my ropes. I had to trust my own voice because when it comes to innovation, there is by definition no one to look to for the answers. I had to put myself out there because innovation doesn't come from playing it safe. And perhaps most importantly, I had to be willing to fail, to be willing to not be perfect. The best designs came only after multiple failed attempts. If I wanted to get it right, I first had to be willing to get it wrong. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> the video is about 21 minutes, but I actually cut short to 11 minutes. Um, so you can actually go into the YouTube and uh, watch it uh, in the, her own, uh, you know, she has got 21 minutes. So what do you all learn from the video? Can you share with me in the chat box? What do you learn? Interact with me. Can you hear me? Good morning. 
Okay. Uh, failure is a road to success. Ding says, okay, really? Yeah, do not fear failure. So she said, right? Regional said, yes, can hear me. <laughs> okay, believe in yourself, Justine says, yes. We have some belief that's stopping us. Any more? What do you learn? Impossible. I am possible, Bernard Lau says. Great. Any more? What do you learn from the video? That's all. Our past experience causes our limiting beliefs. Is there any uh, sharing from the workplace? Uh, may any, anybody, if there's any sharing, please let me know. Never give up, uh, Deng says. So many excuses for ourselves, Christopher. Be open-minded. Yeah, yeah. So, so in the video, in the video has actually spelled out all the limiting beliefs that all of us has, right? Michelle says mindset change is important to break through our limiting belief. Yes, very important. What's limiting beliefs that uh, Lauren has said already? Limiting beliefs is an invisible rope that ties us down. So most of the time we are unconscious of it. So it's the thoughts that in our life that we believe is true. But these thoughts tend to stop you from growing, from moving forward. Yes, we can. On if we like, like Judy, uh, Judy says, we can be our own enemies. Yes, we are our own enemies. It's in our thought. It's our, in our thought. It's, it's like, you know, this living, limiting belief is like an anti growth virus. We are not COVID virus right now. Huh? It's anti growth virus that is inside us that is growing and growing and growing if we do not adhere to that. So it's actually a, a, a virus growing inside us. And like Lauren says, how you see yourself, how we see ourselves in circumstances will affect what we see and we act and what occurs as a result. A lot of people look at the results only. They never look at what is inside there. So market is slow, you know, uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm no good, I'm slow, I am... Um, I cannot talk, you know, I am bad in lead generation, so many. So that is in you. So that is what the thoughts inside of, you know, inside us creating a feeling and that feelings create behaviors and it creates a habit. So the habits is either you, you, you stop acting, going forward, or you just kind of like um, depressed. I think most of the time is depressed. Uh, will will start uh, kind of like eating into your life. If you don't adhere to that, probably it, it can be a uh, issue that. So what I see is that from what I learned from this video is that I identify even though, uh, I mean, COVID has vaccine, right? I also get vaccine here. So probably I would like to, you know, identify three vaccines or to counter these limiting beliefs that uh, that uh, we have. So first, I would say that it's awareness. Self-awareness is very important. I don't know whether you, you agree with me or not. Self-awareness, self-audit is very important. Virtual headset, you need to know that whether you're putting a headset, a virtual headset, or actually it is the, it's happening in, in the, in, in that uh, area. That means what is your ropes? First, you need to identify what is your rope. Is there a rope attached to you or not? Okay, what is your rope? Make sure we are not in denial states. We have to accept there is a rope that's tying a, it against us. That means we, we can't move because we fear rejection. We can't move because I think I feel that I'm not good enough. Okay, that is the rope. You identify that first, okay? Because if you ask yourself and you don't know what is holding you back, right? You are saying that you are in denial stage where you may not be able to find the second stage. The second stage is look for facts. Look for facts. How do you look for facts? Look for evidence. Because I always uh, remember that they said, clar use clarity to counter uncertainty. Use clarity to counter uncertainty. Is it this belief is valid or is just what I'm facing only? Is everybody facing the same issue? Is MCO slow? Nobody closed any deals? 
or is it, you know, these are things that you need to ask yourself. For example, if you, you, you fear rejection, is it that you're not good enough in lead generation or is it that, how do I say, is a skill issue? Is that a skill issue or is it that it is the nature issue? If it's a nature issue, probably you may want to go into a communication skill, pro, uh, you know, practice or a script practice, you know. So find the evidence, find the evidence around. I would say that in, in order to counter your belief, whatever you believe, uh, the, the limiting belief that you have, right, counter it, counter, use clarity to counter. And the best is that go and talk to people, talk to colleagues, talk to uh, those people uh, that has been through that uh, situation. So, you know, how they did it. And I think the re real life story is very important. I think every Monday and every Wednesday, we always share real life story. Okay, this is the story that they are telling from their bottom, you know, their, their bottom of their heart. And, and these are real life story. If you, if you want to talk to them further, you can actually, you know, put down the names and then you can actually call them for coffee. Now cannot MCO, cannot coffee already, right? So you can actually call them and, and ask them. Most important, do not be alone. Do not be alone. You need to find facts. If you're alone, right, the facts is yourself. Your virtue is yourself. So, so don't be alone. The second, the third one, okay, first one is awareness. Second one is look for facts and uh, use clarity to counter uncertainty. If anybody can help me to put into the chat box, it would be great. One is awareness, look for facts. The second one, third, third vaccine is take your first step of change. First, realize. Second, clarity. Third is first step of change. Do not Fear failure, the most important. Do not fear failure. How could you change? Most important, how could you change? You have to ask yourself, how could you change? Take one step at a time. For me, I remember my uh, limiting belief is Facebook marketing. I uh, retold, I think my first, uh, my first uh, session was uh, 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 command uh, through, through uh, leads or something, leads through command, something like that, right? I can't remember the first session though. I said my first fear is Facebook marketing. And all through my life, you know, I actually believe that Facebook marketing is for young people and I cannot do it. I'm too old or I cannot really do it until I look at the fact that to do it is just somebody has to do it, simplify the, 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 the steps and I can do it with KW, of course, five steps, you know. So it's much easier and, and we have launched many, many campaigns from that. So that changes my belief that I can do Facebook marketing right now. And now when I go back to Facebook marketing for under Facebook manager, I find it much easier to actually compare to the, uh, to, to the, uh, to the previous time that I have actually started. So my belief has actually lower, lower and completely going to be strike out uh, because I, I find the facts and I take the first step by going into and doing it first one step at a time and break down into chunks. If you have many, many limiting beliefs, you have many, many, you know, um, kind of like uh, holding you back, right? Break down into chunks, okay? What is the one thing you must do at this time? Like I say, what's the one thing that you must do in order to, do, if you do it, Right now, everything falls into place, you know, that kind of one thing, just one thing. And, and if you can't get an accountability partner that will able to help you and be committed, of course, the first thing you need to commit to change. If you can't, if you don't commit to change, I think uh, nobody can change you, right? So there is no failure in our life as whatever you take action, right? I always believe is either succeed or lessons learned. Because fail, fail means uh, uh, first attempt in learning. You know, first attempt in learning. It's always, to me, is that fail, failure is just either success or lesson learned. There's no such thing as failure until you can't do much anything at all. 
And we always say fail forward, fail forward. So, well, there's three, three things here. Uh, well, Chris Tang says, okay, later I, I type it uh, in this chat box here. Is uh, hold on now, let me type it up. Awareness, number one is awareness. Okay, oops. Number two is uh, look for facts. Carry to be. Wait, uh, hold on, uh, counter uncertainty. The three is uh, take a step. Do not fear failure. Okay, three steps is here. Okay. So today we have this privilege to uh, to invite our special guest, uh, Shannon, and uh, she is uh, from MC3. So welcome, Shannon. Are you there? Uh, yes. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me here. I'm Shannon. Hi. Um, from well, MC3. Just now, go ahead. Introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Shannon from MC3. Uh, I in real is real estate uh, is uh, around two years and uh, two years and five months. Anyway, everybody, uh, Chen is a very shy person, uh, but she's not shy in doing uh, real estate. Uh. She, she is very aggressive in real estate, but very shy in person. Yeah. Okay. So today uh, we are going to uh, go through uh, some of your you know, journeys that you have, uh, you have gone through. I think amazing journey that uh, I, I, I believe. So let me go back, you know, and ask you some questions here. So Shannon, you joined in in, I remember January, 2019, correct? Yes. Yeah, so 2019 yeah. as a rookie. Okay, yeah. you, know, you know nothing at all about real estate. I still remember that. You joined in as a rookie, but you didn't close any deal for the first three months. Okay, that time, you know, uh, tell us what is uh, what are your challenges you face and uh, what's in your mind that time for the first three months? For the first three months, I didn't feel hurry or urgent because uh, I got asked uh, the senior before, normally for rookie, uh, when, when is their first uh, breakthrough, break the age, some of them tell me it's around six months. Uh. So for me, I still thinking it's a learning stage. Wow. Yeah, still can go got... for honeymoon. Uh. It's a learning stage. Yeah. The limiting uh, the seniors have limiting beliefs. Yeah, <laughs> that's why they, they told you no, cannot break ice within first month one, right? It's a limiting belief. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do during these three months? Do you do anything or you just um you know, just like your background there, relaxing for three yeah. months. What of do you course, do? Of uh, course, learning, no? keep on learning. Keep uh, on learning. Yeah. For the, the words of the real estate, then how is the whole process? Uh, then how, how, what is the DSR? Uh, all these new terms to me. Uh. Mm. Yes, our debt service ratio. Okay, great, great. LTV and everything, right? So, yes. yeah, I still remember when I first joined in, I don't even know what is SPA. I thought it's a SPA going to SPA. Actually, it's SPA, it's a sales purchase agreement. I thought it's like going to uh, you know, enjoy my SPA. So, yeah, I agree with you. So, first three months is learning stage, correct? So, then you, I remember you joined a Prima Kajang Tama project in April, correct? Yes. So that's the fourth month that you are in the real estate, right? For my record, from my record, uh, you closed a total of 16 deals in just six in, in, in just four months' time, right? Just four months' time. That is like four deals a month. And that's a breakthrough from zero. Okay. That's a really amazing breakthrough. How do you manage to find suddenly all the buyers coming into your way? You know, so suddenly, you know, like pop appears. How do you how do you find all this? 
buyers? How do you close its deals? At that time, the the project is uh is guided by you. Uh, you have uh, come up meeting with us. Uh, have how to do this project. Then one of the suggestion is uh, is it distribute the flyers. Then we go to the Kajang side uh, by group uh, At the time, I'm I'm with uh, Mr. Chia together. So we go and distribute the flyers. Uh, then uh, on the first day itself, uh, I'm so lucky because uh, during the time we distribute the flyer, then one of the prospect he is interested. Then on the spot, got the explain. Very lucky, the project is already uh, around 40% completed. So they know the place with the actual uh, construction site. So uh, the person on the spot give me the IC or the thing, then uh, apply, apply for the loan. Then it gave me uh, a lot of confidence. <laughs> Do in this way also can. Then later on, uh, uh, I got received a call. It's from a boss. Then he got tell me. He asked me go to his office. Then of course I'm going to his office also lah. Then his office is a bungalow factory. Okay. Then go to his office. Uh, in the meeting room, he asked the staff, the account person, uh, call up his staff to join. Uh, come into the meeting room. Then. He, he helped me to do the marketing, you know, the boss. He explained to the st uh, staff, um, uh, he looked at this project is uh, good and the price is very good price also. Then uh, the boss have tell them why they have to buy. La, because the other one thing is the money uh, spent on in the property, you won't feel lost in the future because the property will, uh, the price will be appreciation. But if they say you don't uh, spend the money in the property, your money will spend in the other way. Then the other thing he told to the staff is, um, I can't make you all rich, but one thing I want to make sure uh, every one of you is uh, have a roof under uh, above you. So at the time I feel so touching. Uh, they have uh, the staff got have have a uh, so good boss. Yeah. <laughs> then wow wow uh, yeah. Then on the uh then the staff just follow like say they they are, then the boss tell them you are uh, nothing to lose unless say the loan is not approved then you got nothing to lose so, uh, then he asked the account person to give me the salary slip or the IC. Then on the spot, they all uh, sign up the form. Mm. Wow, fantastic. Uh, one, in, in, in fact, uh, one person uh, referral, in fact, uh, yeah. referrals is very important, right? So if you, anybody wants more referrals, I think you need to smile like uh, Shannon. <laughs> yeah, so, so a lot of people will come into you. Great, great, fantastic. But like I said, um, unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, sweet moments is always have a bitter side, correct? Yeah. <laughs> Not necessary, but because uh, it, it just happened uh, that uh, this Prima Kajangku faced a 50% drop off. Yeah, mm -hmm. drop off with loan doesn't go through. So sometimes, uh, sometimes easy to close. Also, sometimes we need to monitor the uh, loan issue as well. I remember that time 2019, uh, loan was pretty strict. And, and the government project like this, right, they have delayed payments even until now. So, you know, a lot of uh, disappointment, I believe that, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. But uh, despite, despite mm -hmm. of that, right, oh, despite of that, but you keep smiling, you keep going. So, you know, <laughs> what's happening? Uh, what's in your mind? <laughs> Okay, for the for the cases fifty percent draw off, uh, that one uh, I already know because uh, most of the team leader leader told me already. He say you have to prepare yourself. Um, most of the project cases fifty percent will draw off. So at first I heard ha huh, so many ah, uh, then we already. They already give 
uh, they already give me the signal at 50% will drop. So when I don't have high expectation to, and then no feel very low la, at that time, uh, <laughs> just accept me. You, uh, you, you actually look for facts already, right? So that uh, you, yes. to, to actually uh, kind of like prepare yourself that there will be 50%. So you times 50 of your effort, correct? 50% times two of your effort so that you can actually continue to, to read more, correct? So, yeah. But despite of that, you, you keep going and because of your, uh, you know, removing this limiting belief into yourself with clarity. So your next breakthrough came in in July, August when you closed two sub-sales. No, sub-rental, correct? It's a rental, yes, correct? Rental. And continuously, I think about seven views before end of 2019, right? So what do you do differently during these uh, few months and how does your, where does your listing comes from? Okay, I think one thing we have to set goal because uh, after that on July, I, I went to Myanmar for holidays. Once came back from the holiday because spending the money already, man. Then normally I was used to uh, end of the year December is a uh, is a off off month for me la. I will go for holiday. Then I calculate the money. Then if they say on December I still want to go for holiday, then because I'm doing project, the money not so fast to come in. Then have to do sub sales or then do the rentals is a faster way. Uh, then luckily also got friends, they are look for lentils. La. Actually, I learned from that time. Uh, I, I, I asked my friend to give me some time to look for the lentil he wants, like the place uh, he wants, one of the place in the Hatamas, uh, the other one place in KL. So I will do the SMS blasting to the owner first law, from the database. So from there, uh, it's a learning process also. La. Mm. Then later on, uh, the sub sales. Uh, so I focus on the Puchong area because uh, I'm stay Puchong. Then um, start doing uh, the more on SMS blasting. I think last time we SMS blasting still got a response from the owner. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That that is twenty nineteen is before COVID, correct? Yeah, that is before COVID and uh, also before KW, correct? Yes. So, uh, yes. But that's great. It means that after that, uh, that bitter uh moments, it's actually not so bitter for you because you already prepare for it already, right? So yeah. in the meantime, you actually also prepare the uh the uh you know the the rental as well because you know that rental will give you fast cash. Yeah, Correct, yeah. because at the old, uh, you know, money already spent. I got no money, so the bet, uh, the bet, the fastest is uh, cash. So you actually kind of like uh, plan your actions in order to actually get the flow uh, in, right, and the money flowing in as well. So that's yeah. fantastic. So in twenty twenty, that is already like uh, you know, in twenty twenty, we are in KW, but also pandemic, yeah, time. Right, pandemic. I think this is the first pandemic that we, uh, the first COVID, uh, uh, prob, uh, situation when nobody has it. Right, that is in March. So I believe, um, I, I, I look at that January and February. Uh, is is a good month. Then when when we started COVID March, there's a lockdown. Correct. Yes. There's a lockdown. Mm. But however, uh. Quite a number of people are like, uh, they are confused, they're struggling, but not you, I see. You, I, I saw from your record, right? From rookie status, you actually jumped to couples in training status in March during lockdown. And from captains in status in March, you actually work all the way, become a kappa in December 20, 2020. There's a tremendous, really growth there's a really tremendous, um, you know, congratulations. Really, really good. You earn three times more income uh, compared to 2019 where no COVID and COVID, you know. So tell us how you did it and uh, any tools that you help you to actually go through that journey. Huh, Very fantastic journey. Time. 
actually it's uh, struggling also. Everyone is struggling. Then because we are used to go outside, they miss uh, go outside for to work and sometimes go for drink, uh, can chit chat together. But during the first uh, COVID time, uh, we, everyone have stay at home. Then it's a uh, very boring and very struggling. But um, luckily, the uh, company uh, management team have a training. I think at that time, it's almost every day. Then I attended the training, then learn a lot from the skill, uh, learn from the producer, uh, learn, the, uh, learn the right attitude, the most important, uh, because uh, it's a cycle. Uh, it's a cycle. Then at the same time, the cases uh, I have, I, I have do it because uh, like others agent also because due to the COVID, um, then owner are willing to bargain about the price. Then, then the interest rate, the loan interest rate is lower, so more buyers in the market. Yeah, buyers always uh, look at uh, take this opportunity, take this opportunity. To buy, yeah. to buy the property, yes. Uh. Great, great. In, in every uh, 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 situation, right, in any, any bad situation, there's always opportunities, right? They yes. call it any, any uh, situation that we are facing. Opportunity is that whether we are looking for the opportunity or we wait for opportunity to look for us, correct? But you step up and actually <clears throat> go forward and look for the opportunities in, in there and learn from the top producer. So great. And the W tools that you are is helping you along the way, you know, that help you to have a, a, a the, you know, to journey through that from the uh, to become a capper in, in, in December. Yeah. Uh, during that time, uh, I read the read book also. La. Okay, learn a lot from this book. Then, uh, <sighs> So you have models that you want to you follow in the red book. Uh, there is yeah, models, right? The, what's the most in in this book? What is the model that impact you most? The GPS and the eco economy models. Yeah, that that means once you 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 basically know your numbers in your mind, correct? And then you are able to just follow the numbers and and put your effort to, to that numbers, right? And it's mm -hmm. a roadmap for you. The GPS for those uh, guests that is in here who doesn't know what's a GPS is, a GPS is one goal, three priorities and five strategies. So that is a roadmap for, for us to, to, to guide us, to lead us to where we want to go. Yeah, and the numbers, economy numbers is, is, is uh, to set your numbers correctly in order for us to achieve. And from there, the strategies is a process to help us to achieve that. So consistently that you'll be able to achieve that, right? So GPS helps you a lot, right? Yes. Mm. Great, great, great. Is there any technology that is able is helping you in, in this uh in this uh journey? Do you use any technology? Yeah, I have to learn the campaign, then I have to get more uh list to get more yeah. easier to get the list. Oh. Don't worry. I think I think a lot of people uh, have technology as a limiting beliefs. Okay, so is Shannon. So it, I am. So in the meantime, while she is, you know, removing his part and part uh, uh, limiting belief, I think she already uh, started to venture into part by part uh, into technology. So just to amazing. Uh, so throughout this journey, have you? made any mistake before resulting in a failure and uh, what was that how do you do you overcome it a uh, mistake uh, of course uh, we learn from the mistake a lot of mistake was uh, happened like following up the long person is the uh, not the key person who are not the decision maker uh, my experience is a uh, one of the PA call me, he say is a PA to a boss, then the company names, then he say he look for uh, what kind of property he's looking at. Then I have uh, introduced him three properties, 
then he keep on asking uh, any any others more. Then I was thinking uh, whether he's a decision maker or not. Lor. Then mm -hmm. later on, I found he's not a decision maker. Then I no follow up so closely. Lor. Then others mistake like sometimes we didn't, some bias is a very serious buyer. Then we are not follow up closely. Then we also lose the chance also. Yeah. That all so, the so we have to keep on learning. Mm. So you mean that every every lead that comes in, we are uh, we have to follow up? No, every leaks uh, then we have to clarify the leaks uh, whether okay how urgent they want to buy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so so you you did all the uh you know you did all the uh background work first qualifying and everything right. So at the end of the day, there is always failure in there is always failure in other people's life. What you're saying is that the do not let the failure go into go into uh and and keeping you from moving forward. Correct. Yeah. So you keep actually learn from the lesson and and for example like you learn from this PA. Or some people will call you, I'm calling on behalf of my, I'm buying on behalf of my brother, I'm buying on behalf of my sister, I'm buying on behalf of so many right people, right? So you 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 basically qualify them and then uh, lead you to decide whether they are decision maker or not, right? Correct? Yes. Yes. Great, great, great. So, well, um, I would like to, you know, ask if there are any questions since Shannon is around, so is there any question that you would like to ask Shannon? Uh, this is her journey. And, uh, you know, any question you'd like to ask her? Anybody with a chance? Is there any, any uh, question in, uh, in, in workplace? Nobody? So, in fact, Shannon, I was looking at your record uh, for 2021. In fact, you continue to thrive. That's really, really good for this first quarter this year, right? From the record, right? I see your sales is double compared to last first quarter in 2020. That is really, really good. So, you, you, you basically has uh, kind of like, you, you, you have many limiting beliefs, but you actually clear the limiting belief and, and by clarity and, and keep moving forward. That's a really, really good, uh, uh, you know, things. So there's one per, uh, question. Shannon, what's your big why? I did ask you that question before. Yeah. Yeah. What's your big why? I like to travel and opening my eyes to see the world. Yeah. And then at the same time, enjoy that. Mm. Wow. So I remember I was asking this question to Shannon. I said, wow, now cannot travel uh, COVID for about two years already. So she said, I'm collecting all the money so that I can, I can actually go uh, when it's released, right? I can go a lot, you know, a lot more places. She was telling me. So a big why is to travel around the world. Yeah. So um, King Sun asks, all Prima is KW project, including Perak State. Can someone contact? Oh, okay. No, no, uh, not all uh, King Sun. This, uh, this Prima case uh, is, is coincidentally that we took over uh, because, uh, because it's Kajang. So I'm focusing on Kajang, but no, uh, not all. So uh, we uh, project leaders actually select uh, projects right now. So if you have any question, probably you can talk to your MCAs and uh, whatever project that you have in your, uh, in your market center, then uh, talk to them. They were able to let you know. Okay, Shannon, how do you allocate your marketing budget? So far, my marketing budget uh, more on the iProperty. Uh, I signed the package is around 2,000 plus. Huh? Mm. Yeah, then... iProperty. Yeah, some, some is... Uh, Others, I think, not so much. Huh? Mm. But what's your uh, highest uh, from this uh, marketing budget? Right? What is your highest uh, source of leads? I remember you told me your highest source of leads is not I properly, correct? Referral. It's more from on, the referral. More on referral, yes. Mm. 
Yeah, so she actually saved costs in, 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 in doing quite a number of uh, leads. How many percent is your referral? Huh? How many percent? 50, 60? I think around 70%. 70%, wow. Fantastic, mm. fantastic. Yeah, so uh, uh, Kingston says I'm a guest. Uh, so probably Kingston, maybe you can connect with the regional and see how they can help you on, on, on uh, you know, uh, support you on what you wanted. Uh, Ting Kok Hua says how to join I'm a guest. Also, please contact with the regional, whoever invited you. Uh, and then from there, they will uh, show you. Uh, any other question? If no question, I actually uh, would like to, uh, before I pass uh, over to uh, regional, uh, um, stay, stay on, uh, Shannon. Last question I'd like to ask you, you know, before you leave, uh, I pass over to regional for the, uh, some of the announcement right now. Regional. Just one moment as we share the announcement slides. Yep. So um, just some quick announcement before we get back to Shannon and also Lily. Do join us next Monday for our Power Monday virtual training with Jasmine as our guest speaker. Next. Next, please. So as you all know, um, we are still sharing our national consumer campaign touch points, but as of now, we are resharing touch points that are more suitable for the current MCO. So do stay tuned on workplace review happenings for new MCO touch points. Our championship is also still ongoing. So continue sharing the touch points for a chance to be one of our weekly winners. Next. So for this week, our week six winners are actually Dato Hamza and Agnes. And this is also our current leaderboard for the championship. This is for the social media part. Next, please. So our red day with Marco NGO is still ongoing for the whole month of May. So if you guys have um, any laptops or computers that you would like to donate, please to fill up the form that will be posted in the chat, or you can also opt to go for the cash donation as well. Yeah. Um, sorry, can you go back one slide? <laughs> yeah. So uh, these are just some of the other details. If you would like to donate any laptops or computers, um, or also to pass on the message to your clients, there are just a few simple criteria. The laptops and computers need to be able to be powered up and ideally less than 10 years old. But if they're more than 10 years old and they are still functioning fine, they are also applicable to be donated as well. And um, also just the last point for this current MCO, you can also send out our red day uh, donation information as a uh, use for a touch point to follow up with your clients. Yep. And lastly, if you have yet to sign up for a KW Command Workshop with Lucas, do sign up as soon as possible. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Yuan. So um, before we go, I, uh, we have got two minutes here. Just want to ask you, uh, Shannon, in spite of this continuous success that you have, right, do you still have limiting beliefs that, that you're trying to remove? Yes, I got. <laughs> um, everyone, everyone uh, so uh, to, to, to tell everyone here that everybody has got, still got limiting beliefs that uh, we all have and uh, we are slowly removing it step by step, correct? So let I'll ask, what is your one piece of advice to Ren who has not reached their breakthrough yet? Have belief ourselves and just know it, then we will see the result. Mm. Yeah. Then Shannon I could like, says, mm, beside that, I could like to take this opportunity uh, to thank you to my mentors, uh, Lily, my productivity crush upon Fatima. So, yeah, because they, I'm so proud to learn all the knowledge from you all. Mm. 
You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so those uh, people, uh, I mean, those um, has not big, uh, those of our colleagues or guests or anybody that they feel that they will not break through yet. Just, she, she said, believe in yourself, you know, find clarity and just do it. Correct? Yes. So great. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming and thank you so much uh, all the my colleagues, all my the guests that is coming on the way. I mean, here right now, uh, you know, all the way. Uh, and thank you so much for attending. Thank you so much. I'll see you all next time. Bye.